Hello, World of Tank Blitzers. It's Littlefinger, and today is September 11th, 2020. We're going to take a quick look at what is for sale in the stores. Uh, as we get started, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and don't forget to like, leave a comment, and share this wherever you can on social media. All right, so the defenders are back. Before we get into that, let's take a look at this pop-up offer that's uh, not too much longer in the making. Not even sure if this video will be up in time, but $25 for a Tier 6 uh, Easy 8. This is the Fury. Uh, 30 days of premium time. Um, that works out to be 8,750 gold using my standard $1 is 350 gold. Uh, that is a lot for a tier 6. Yes, it's got uh, 2,000 damage per minute. It does have uh, slightly better aim time um, than the Sherman Tech Tree version, but that's a lot for a tier 6 medium tank. All right, so the Defender are back. Um, this is the one that I don't have. Unfortunately, it's still for sale for 1250 gold. And that's one thing that Wargaming does. You know, the first time it's typically in crates. The second time it's 15,000, then it's 12.5, and then they drop it to 10, and then they keep dropping it time over time over again. Um, so we'll get into those defenders here in a second because you can get all of them for 20,000. But first, two days left on probably a can't pass if you don't already have the Cromwell B. Uh, you've got 30 days of premium, and obviously you get the camo and all nine equipment slots for 2,500 gold. So that's only $7, um, and it gives you 30 days of premium. So great deal there. Now, uh, 5X boosters. The only thing that I don't like about 5X boosters is that you can't turn them on and turn them off when you use them. So you're going to have to play 100 battles in whatever tanks you're grinding to really make this worthwhile. That is not how I play this game. I typically jump around and play all kinds of different tanks. So, um, you know, I am not in need, nor would I recommend spending money on 5X boosters. And that brings us to the defenders. We've got the whole bundle here for 20,000 gold. Um, that works out to be $57. That is um, a lot, quite honestly. Um, the uniqueness in these tanks is that they all have the auto loaders. Uh, the Defender Mark I, I believe, has four shells. Uh, and then the IS-3D and T-28 each have three. There is quite a long reload or, or loading time between each shell. Um, so it's not a rapid fire auto loader. So don't think that that's what these tanks are because they are, they're doing big damage outside of the Defender. Um, the IS-3D used to be one of the best tanks out there. And it they kind of changed it a little bit, and then they changed the mechanics on heat, which is your premium ammo, and the tank just isn't quite as good as what it used to be. Um, so, unless to me, unless you are a true collector, uh, I'm passing on these tanks. Um, you know, I really want the Defender, but as you the Mark One Defender, but for twelve thousand five hundred, I mean, come on. You know, the, these two that have been around a little bit longer, the, the 3D has been around the longest, 8,500 gold. So um, we know this price will come down if you just have the patience to wait. I think this might be the second time this is back in stores. Uh, you still have some time to jump on the sturdy front. These are both really great tanks. Uh, you know, the Action X, I mean, who doesn't know about the Action X, right? If you, if you look, just buying the Action X by itself is 12500 So for 2500 you're getting the camo, the nine equipment slots, the 5X boosters, and you're getting the AMX M4, which is a really nice little heavy tank in of itself, uh, which they're selling for uh, right here, 7500 So um, this is a great deal. Um, I'm not a huge fan of rapid fire, low damage guns like the Action X, but you get this tank into the right situation on the battlefield, and it is just a complete bully if you can get it hold down. So, um, 
Let's see. They've still got two days on the Chimera. That's ten thousand gold, and, and that's you know that's the interesting thing with the Defender still being for twelve five. Uh, I think this is the second time back in store, and this is its second time. Maybe this is the third time for the Chimera. Either way, uh, ten thousand with the equipment and gold. I I did buy this tank, and I'm really really loving it. Um, I did a video if you want to check it out. I'll try to put a link down below. Uh, the rest of these you buy with coins earned from playing tournaments um, and we won't jump into too much of the rest there the gross tractor and the pz2j um, what can i say uh you know these are tier three tanks obviously the the pz2j is known for its armor uh, and it can't pen crap um and, and, you know, you just don't play these tiers anymore. So I really, again, I'm not spending $5 on these tanks. The large resource reply, uh, resupply here is a good deal. Um, just the 10,500 gold for $30 works out to be 350 gold. So everything beyond that is, is just extra, which includes 30 days of premium and the 150 uh, gold boosters and I figured if you're a 50 55 percent win rate player playing at tier 6 or tier 7 then that's going to equate to about 2,000 more gold which is going to bring this up over 400 per dollar um, again just on a little bit smaller scale still works out to be 350 gold per dollar but uh, still not quite as good a deal and you can see here this is just 300 per gold here so definitely pass on the small one if you're going to buy any one of these at all buy the buy the ten dollar one and if you can spring for it i would go with the thirty dollar one uh we've still got the battle pass going on this month it's either 20 bucks to jump 25 levels or for just the bottom two tiers of the battle pass that's five dollars uh, i'm going to pa pause the video right here in a second so that i can insert my attempt at the soviet invasion uh there was a i believe it was a ten dollar crate uh you got three crates and what i was most interested in is obviously there's a 10% drop chance uh, for me I have all of these tanks except for the two 130s and the T2020 which I really don't want um, but I was most interested in this wording of up to 1,000 gold what that meant how many times would you get 1,000 gold would you are you getting 50 gold are you getting 100 gold I mean this uh, not really clear on the up to so I wanted to show you my uh, you know how it went for me opening these crates all right so here i am three soviet invasion containers open the first one we get some certificates for free xp and 500 gold second container uh, about 7,000 free exp and 500 gold and the last container, more free XP and 500 gold. So there you have it. Um, three crates, 1,500 gold. Uh, that's 150 gold per dollar. Really not a good deal um, and not worth gambling on these crates. Now, um, you know, these basic kits are good. They're not great. You look at this 6,000 for 20, 20 bucks is 300. Um, so I'm, I'm not recommending those either um you know what if you're gonna buy gold i would try to save up to get the 50 dollar gold uh quarterman stash they call it this gives you 350 gold per dollar and i think that's probably you know unless obviously the more gold is this 375 the more money you spend the more gold you get so try to buy gold in as biggest quantities as you can um, just to get the best deal there. So that wraps up the store on September 11th. Um, hope you guys enjoy the weekend and uh, thanks for watching. And as always, have fun out there. Stay safe, get educated, not bangered. Little finger out.